So here's the situation. You just bought a really fancy high core count processor, but now all of your level compiles are taking even longer than before. What the hell gives? I noticed this exact situation when I bought a Dell R420 blade server with two Intel Xeons inside that both had six cores and 12 threads. My original intentions were to use this server for a home lab as well as maybe 3ds max renders while it works great for both of those i thought it would be awesome to put this horsepower to work to do some source engine level compiles so i could free my desktop up to play games while i did compiled or maybe actually still work on the level so then i went and took the then current version of de titan loaded it up on the server started a compile and also started a compile in tandem on my 4790k which is what my desktop runs I thought the server just had so much horsepower that it would at least be somewhat ahead of the 4790k, but instead I got this. Somehow the VRAD compile process took literally four times as long to compile on the high core and thread count server than it does on the consumer grade 4790k CPU. So at this point I just considered the server a loss for level compiles and then just didn't touch it for the longest time. That is until someone named Deadhand, who is a level designer on No More Room in Hell, bought a Threadripper processor. He was super frustrated by the fact that the more cores and threads he threw at VRAD, the worse it did. This was also confirmed by his findings in this graph here. That's right, we're doing graphs now. Since he's a developer on No More Room in Hell and they have code access in Source 2013 base, he looked inside of the Ray Tracer source code and there he found literally one single variable that he commented out and it totally changed everything. You're probably wondering why this graph is blurred. Let me go ahead and get rid of that effect. So these were his original findings. You can see that the more threads he now throws at VRAD, the faster it compiles the level as opposed to the old VRAD, which took longer the more threads you gave it. In his example, he has uncapped the maximum of 16 threads for VRAD since they have full source access. This allows him to actually use 32 threads, whereas everyone else, no matter what, is hard limited to 16 unless they have code access. Now you may be asking yourself, Top Hat, why, why do we even care? We don't have code access for most of the games that we build levels for. You yourself only work in CSGO, so this literally means nothing to you. Well, you see, Dead Hand is a genius. He was able to go in through a hex editor in the VRAD DLL file and literally edit the machine code to remove this variable in the CSGO branch of VRAD. So it was at this point that I downloaded the DLL, went to my bin folder, renamed vred underscore dll dot dll to dot bad, went ahead, copied his DLL over, and that is literally it. The results are just amazing. On my 4790K with the current version of Titan, it takes 126 minutes to compile for VRAD. That's just over two hours. With the modded VRAD, it takes 64 minutes. That's wild. That's half the time. I didn't even change hardware, but I'm getting twice the performance from this. Looking at my server, which is using the two CPUs, it took 549 minutes for VRAD. That's about nine hours. It's actually a little over nine hours. With the modded VRAD, it's now faster, just barely, than my 4790K. If the thread limit of 16 wasn't in place on this, it would be even faster. So now if you actually have the Skookum hardware and threads, you can take full advantage of them in your level compiles. And this is a great thing to have happened to us. Just because someone bought a Threadripper processor, he went and fixed something that Valve left in that was literally cutting our performance in half for most people with quad-core CPUs. The best that I can hope for is that Valve sees this removes that one variable, and everyone can see this performance in every game that they update. But I'm not gonna blue ball you. There is a link in the description below that you can go ahead and download this patch to VRAD. Of course, if you verify your game cache, it's going to overwrite this, so you may have to reinstall it. And if they do make updates to VRAD to support new features, this will probably break as well. But in the meantime, you can enjoy at least half improvements to your compile times. Thanks for watching guys. Go ahead and give No More Room in Hell and Dead Hand some love because they really deserve it, especially just for, you know, making all of our lives a lot easier. There's also a link to the GitHub 
with the full source code changes if you want to see those as well. Thanks for watching, guys. 